front is a little warped on the plywood here so what I need to do is push it out so that I'm able to screw it in from the bottom I just installed the top sl drawer slides. I decided to do the top one first because I went ahead and cut a plywood piece to space it out. So in other words, I cut this plywood at 15 uh, and a half inches high. So then the drawer slide could rest on the plywood while I screwed it in. So I know for sure that it's level. Now the second, uh, drawer will be at from the bottom up to here will be at seven and three quarter inch. I'm gonna take the left drawer slide, set it on there, make sure it's flush with the edge of the of the face here or any piece of wood and butt it up against it. To make sure it doesn't move, I took my trusty clamp here. three quarter inch screws. There you go. If you notice, these are soft clothes. Check it out. See that? It gets pulled in nice and softly. I need to make a half inch by one and three eighths inch notch in the back of the drawer. So essentially it's gonna sit like this. So rather than measuring at each board twice per board, six times, I decided just to slap together a couple of three quarter inch plywoods. What I did, I took uh, one, I cut down one and three eighths inch wide a uh, piece of half inch material which is the depth that I need and I glue them together one for the left side and one for the right side and it basically works like this I take my board it's already notched half inch set it down there so it sits flush and I mark it move over to the other side here take my jig Simply flip it over to this side, left back, set it down, mark it. And all I have to do is take my jigsaw and cut it up. So these are the notches you saw me cut earlier. As you can see, there's notches on both sides, left and right. The other measurement I have to do is measure in 11 millimeters from here down to here and seven from here to here. Because we need to drill a hole um, that is almost half inch deep so it can accept this little hook here. 
don't know if you could see that, there you go, in precisely that spot. But rather than measuring every single drawer, I decided to go the easy route. So the easy route is taking your slide, using the hook itself to make an indentation. Smack it in there. There it is. That's where we need to drill. Three eighth inch deep uh, hole. There it is. Clean it up a bit. Do the other side now. Make sure it's snug up against the side of the drawer. And that easy. You can't really pick it up on camera, but I see it. There it is. Now we're gonna install these uh, locking devices. This again, this is the back of the drawer. This is where obviously the drawer slide is gonna sit. These go towards the front, obviously the bottom front of the of the drawer. They catch the drawer slide, it locks the drawer slide in place. And as a little feature where you could just press it to unhook from the actual drawer slide uh, so you could remove drawer entirely from the cabinet if you know you wanted to get behind the cabinet for some reason anyway so we're gonna install these the instructions say that you should drill at a 75 degree angle it's not gonna be an exact science I have my trusty square 75 degrees is somewhere around here more or less drill at a 75 degree angle and the screws that I'm using I picked out from Rockler. There's number six, three quarter inch um, screws. And the cool thing about these is they're not Phillips or flathead. These are star, star screws. Anyway, so we'll be using these. I already have my, my drill bit here ready to go. So let's go ahead and, and, and make the holes. Squeeze to release. You hear that click? That means it's engaged. It's going to have a nice, easy motion. And by the way, these are soft closed uh, slides. So check this out. Once it engages, they'll fully close by themselves. There you go. Back here is that little notch that we drilled earlier. And so let's do the next side. I have, this is the third drawer. I already have two up there. See that? And then I have another three more here to go. So three, will this be the third one? And another three is six. So a total of six drawers. Okay, so after assembling all these six drawers, the next step is to cover up this hideous edge here for the, from the plywood. I'm gonna be using a 5 8 inch birch. This is 250 feet of edge banding that I got off of Amazon. It was roughly maybe $20, $30, forget. A lot of great reviews on it. it sticks very well, so we're gonna give it a shot. So to apply this edge banding, I went on Amazon and bought this cheap uh, Utopia iron. So that's the first edge banding, the excess, which you'll see underneath. We have a little bit of uh, overhang on the edges, uh, but that's okay. Like I said, I'll be using my, my flush trim bit to get rid of it. 
That's the first one. Five more to do. Boom. Well, let's give this a shot. Now that the cabinets are mostly complete, it's time to begin the uh, the glue up for the tabletop for this cabinet. And it's going to be quite a stressful one because I'm going to glue up two sections. The first section will be 11 feet and the second one will, will be around 3 feet uh, for a total of 14 foot uh, length overall, which is a pretty massive uh, size if you think about it. It's gonna be approximately 21 inches deep, but the way I have it cut now, it's cut to 24 inches deep, which will allow me uh, plenty of room to bring it down to size. In case any error occurs, I have plenty of uh, material to work with. So here we go. I won't be using any biscuit joints or any biscuits uh, to join the boards this time. The boards are relatively flat. Uh, I really got lucky with these boards. So let's go ahead and do that now. <laughs> 